Okay, so the first time I made some weird noises, then I burped the second time, so I'm restarting this video. <laughs> so I'm going to procedurally put in the um, the actual uh, std2 string. Okay. So what are we doing here? J plus i times 10. So that's the button number. Okay. I'm just not meant to make a video. Oh wait, there we go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you you don't want to know. <laughs> okay, so what do we? So there's just the number, and then let's just start at um, I don't know where. So we need to go across x. It looks like the maximum. What is the maximum? I don't even know what this function is. X, Y, scale, color, search online. Looks like the x goes from 0 to 1920. OK, so we'll just try uh, 50 times j, I guess. <coughs> <clears throat> 50 times j as the x is that right and then when i comes around then we do the y so the y variable is going to be uh, it's only 1080 50 times i huh. the scale should be 0 0.3 and and then the color, let's just go with, for now, like that. Let's see what that does. So we're actually going to get something. Let's see. Oh, see, they're all down there. Okay, that's good. So that's obviously not where we want them. So in order to get those up here, it's... 50 and then a thousand so what if I lower this down 900 does it go down so the first one the X offset yeah so as it goes down okay so the Y variable goes down as so this is going to be a thousand minus 50 times I so each row let's just go 150 because it's going to be 10 so the 1500 oh wait 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 uh, 100, 1,000, so it's the zero. Okay, all right, that'll work. Now what do we got? They're up higher, but yeah. And they're counting in the right direction, so we just need to spread out the X a lot more. 100 times J. <coughs> you like my hit and miss for that? <laughs> So we're going to the first exam at 9. Looks like it goes only halfway through the screen. So let's go with 200. Okay, so it's not quite 200. Let's go with 150. And then we'll start with an offset of 150. Close. See, now we just need to bring the zero down and bring that up. Oh, so we don't want. So this here, um, let's change this to 90. Okay, we're getting closer. Come on, let the mouse work. There we go. So if we want to bring the zero down, how do we do that? So this is a thousand minus that. Let's go with ring it down, so we'll just go to Okay, it's actually labeled right. Okay. And then to get we want it to be exactly in the middle. So down slightly and back to the left. So so the X variable we want to be there and this one down slightly so that means what 940 
I don't know, we're going in increments of 10 here to figure this out. Okay, alright. It's getting closer. We want it 130. 30? Is that? I don't know if we're in the center. or That looks like it's in the center, the 0, but the 1 is not. Okay, so then, and the 9 is totally missing. Okay, that's fine. So, okay, and then this needs to be shrunk. So, so the J, this right here should be 80. I think. And then this right here needs to be a little more. Okay, oh, well, it looks like we got the y coordinate just right. So now we just need to get the x coordinate. What did I make it? Uh, 60, so now we'll just go 170. Just do increment of 10. And I'm cheating, I know. Should be figuring this out. <laughs> 10 more. And there, there we go. Now all the buttons have a label. Let's take the other stuff off of there. This is just the debugging stuff that I don't actually need, but I'm going to keep it around because it was actually very helpful when I first started this. So now we just got the labels. That's good. Yay. Okay, as soon as the mouse works. Okay. So now, that's good. We've got it. Does it look good? Well, it's this is good enough for now, and I can work on stuff later. I just wanted... Now I gotta get the click to work. Click a labeled button display demo. Okay, so there we go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.